Hey there, Earth Signs. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I am doing something pretty new to my channel, Soulmate Relationships. What's the T, yeah? So this is for soulmates. It's for people that you have recently connected with. If you've recently connected us with a soulmate, if you're trying to manifest a soulmate into your life, if you have been in a relationship with a soulmate, um, then this could potentially be for you, yeah? I'm going to be getting into the energies, seeing what it is you guys need to see or we need to know and how you can improve the situation what you can do to work with the situation moving forward this is mainly for soulmates if you are a twin flame you may be able to connect with this but this is not specifically focused on twin flames this is for more for people that don't necessarily connect with the twin flame situation or that kind of kind of thing they're just wanting information on a soulmate yeah so um, I'm doing earth signs here, so we're going to be starting with Taurus, yes? Going Taurus, then Virgo, then Capricorn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an oracle card from the Whispers of Love and get the general focus for the, for that specific sign, and then we're going to get into some a tarot spread, and it's, the tarot spread is going to be very similar to the general freestyle readings that I do for the monthly zodiac signs, yes? So... Let's get into it. We're starting with Taurus, y'all. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. How's my Taurus fan doing? Let's see what we've got for you, Taurus. What's the T with the soulmate? Yeah? All right. I just want to give this three shuffles. And then we're going to free shuffle and see what comes out for you, Taurus. My Taurus fam. What do we got for you, Taurus? What's the T with the soulmate? What's the T? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Romance. All right, Taurus. And we all know y'all love some romance. Let me tell you, I know I do. <laughs> romance. Lavish, the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So there could be a need for more romance in the situation. Okay, maybe you guys, maybe you have fallen kind of out of love. Maybe the honeymoon phase is kind of over and the fire is kind of dwindling a little bit, but there's still some embers down there. So all that really need all that's really needed is to restoke that fire. Yeah. So let's get into your tarot spread, Taurus, and see what you got. See what you got here. Taurus. My Taurus fam. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is a general reading, guys, okay? So keep, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And anyone that would like to timestamp these videos, I would be greatly appreciative. That would be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's get into it. So, Taurus, one more shuffle for you. Right, and I'm going to cut the deck here. Boop. Okay, Taurus. Overall energy. What do we have for you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you are deceiving yourself. There could be a situation where, you know, someone might be cheating. Just going to throw that out there. This is a general reading. But the biggest thing I'm getting from this, Taurus, is that I really feel like you're deceiving yourself. Thinking that it's over when it isn't necessarily. Thinking that the feelings are dwindling when they really aren't necessarily. I really just feel like something, that the energy just might be shifting in the relationship for you, okay? You've got the Queen of Cups here. You've got the Ten of Swords. Oh, goodness, Taurus. And you've got the Five of Wands. So what's going on here? Well, Taurus, I really feel like... And this is most likely you, but someone's all up in their feelings about something, okay? And um, I feel like you're deceiving yourself about it, to be quite honest. You could be connecting with a Cancer. The Queen of Cups often symbolizes Cancer energy to me, or it could just be another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, you actually, and especially since Scorpio is your opposite sign... You really could be tapping into that Scorpio energy of like the doom and gloom. And that's why you're kind of deceiving yourself here. Um, but with the Ten of Swords situation, I really feel like the worst is over. I really feel like you have nothing to be so upset or afraid about. I really feel like this is all in your head. This is all just fear with the four, with the six of, I'm sorry, the five of wands here. This is... Um, chaos, this is confusion, this is um, differing of opinion, but I feel like this is internal conflict with the situation, okay? I, I really feel like it's time to put this, this self-deceptive energy to an end, 
Okay, and to release the emotions. And I really feel like your intuition is probably giving is guiding you here. But I just feel like you're up in your feelings about something. And that and this is making things harder for you than they need to be. First set of current energies for you, Taurus. We've got the eight of cups walking away. Maybe you feel like you need to walk away. Maybe you have to wait, maybe you really do have to walk away because you got some just really deceptive energy here. And if if you're in a situation right now where someone is not being completely honest with you, I really feel like you already know with the Queen of Cups. It's not even like you they need to tell you that they're not being honest with you. I think you really just already know because the Queen of Cups is very, very psychic, very intuitive, okay? And you're in an energy of, I I'm done with this. And so you are walking away. Either you, Taurus, or someone else, okay? Eight of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Swords. Okay, the Nine, excuse me, the Nine of Swords. Um, I'm getting a few, okay, I'm getting a few energies with this, and this is a general reading, so I'm going to go with both of them. But the first one is some of you feel anxious about needing to walk away. Is this really the right thing to do? But if you know, if you're aware that someone is not being honest with you about something, why should you stay? Okay? Now, others of you are feeling like you need to walk away, but that's really just the anxiety speaking. Because for some of you, you're deceiving yourselves because you're up in your feelings about something, okay? Second set of current energies for you, Taurus, we've got the Six of Wands. Victory, but also could be pride and ego. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Um, most likely a Leo here because of this, the pride energy with the Six of Wands, if that resonates with you. But victory, overcoming the hardship here. And maybe if you need to walk away, your victory is coming through walking away. Six of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Confusion, though, that's really, this is a really weird energy here. With the Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups, it's like, well, okay, no, I get it. No, I get it now, because this is saying there is victory overcome with debunking the illusion. If you can get past the illusion in the situation, whether that is you're deceiving yourself because you're all up in your feelings, or you know something and something extra is going on here behind your back, and you've been confused about it, you've been unsure about what to do, the energies of victory come through if you were to walk away. Like, cut yourself out of the fear and the anxiety and do what it is you know is best for you. All right? The current challenge for you, Taurus, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this would be your energy. It could be a Virgo energy or, another, or a Capricorn or maybe even another Taurus. But the current challenge already is to take things one step at a time. Also, I'm hitting an energy, Taurus, of not jumping to conclusions. Yee. The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Swords. Yes, not jumping to conclusions. Understanding things deeper than... You know, getting to the bottom of a situation, learning more about the situation. The challenge could also be some sort of, I don't know, childish communication around the situation. But that's not what I'm getting the most. I'm getting the most that I'm getting here is that, you know, there's there's still some some things that need to be investigated more. There's probably some more information that you might need to know. In other situations, it could be that someone that you're connecting with on a soulmate level might just be watching you and just moving super, super slow. And so that could be what's going on behind the surface, what is, what, what is like kind of with the Seven of Swords energy. Interesting, Taurus. Your potential outcome here, the Ace of Cups. Well, that sure does feel really, really good. Now, either this is love coming, this is an offer of love coming in, that could be unexpected. So here's the thing. There could be someone that's watching you here, Taurus, and is kind of just being pretty secretive and not really saying much to you. Could be a Leo with the, with the Six of Wands here, but is not really saying anything and probably is, has some pretty deep feelings 
for you or you have some deep feelings for them, but they're still not communicating it with the Queen of Cups. Because to me, the Queen of Cups is an individual that is very aware of their feelings, but doesn't necessarily show them, doesn't share them often. Whereas for me, the King of Cups is someone that is not afraid to tell somebody or to show their emotions, okay? Wow. It's really all coming together here, Taurus. Because I really feel like some of you are so fed up with secrecy, with playing games, with not with someone not being true about what their feelings are, with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And that's where it really why I feel like and it's funny because you may be aware that this first that this person is sharing these feelings with you, with the Queen of Cups, okay? And that's why romance is here, because it's like someone someone needs to show their their love and their affection. So lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. You may have been the person that has been doing this, and now you're wanting someone else to do it, but at the same time time it's really that's kind of what's needed here for this soulmate connection and so some of you feel like you're just like fuck it i'm done i'm done with this i'm done with this energy of not be of someone of people not stepping up and telling us or, or showing what they truly feel and now i feel like i need to walk away because of the because it's what like with the 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 nine of swords here there's all this anxiety and fear and you do, and instead of keeping yourself in a state of anxiety and fear because you might have been here before many times even you're just like fuck it i'm just gonna walk away but a lot of that is illusionary and i really feel like there is a victory here okay but it's moving very slow it's moving very slow someone is watching the other person all right the ace of cups is the potential outcome here and that is coupled with what did I say? The lovers. And another card wanted to come out. I believe it's the chariot. Yep, the chariot. So you've got a bonus card here, <laughs> Taurus. Okay, and I really feel like that's the universe trying to reassure you that everything, that this outcome, this is coming. Okay? It could be, you could really, like I said, you could really be connecting. Well, did I say that? I did say that. You really could be connecting with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus here. Because to me, the Queen of Cups is often Cancer energy. And then you have the Chariot here, which is official, the official Cancer card. You could also be connecting with a Gemini. Um... Or another air sign, Aries, I'm sorry, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra with the Page of Swords here. But this is a connection. This is a match. This is a good match, okay? And I really just feel like with the Five of Wands underneath everything and your overall energy, you're really just up in your head about things. You're really just confused, possibly, especially with the Seven of Cups here. You really could be confused because you might have thought this was a victory at first, but now all of a sudden there's this seemingly seeming fuckery happening it's like well what the f man <laughs> patience taurus okay i just want you to keep in mind you have this connection is here okay ace of cups the lovers and the chariot someone is going to be making some moves soon i really feel like that all right taurus there it is for you. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next, we're going to get into the Virgos. Yes, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, Lord. You've already got a bunch of stuff popping out here. Good Lord, Virgo. The Magician. Ten of Cups. Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Two, I'm sorry, Three of Swords and Two of Cups. Underneath the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So as I clean up here, I'm just going to talk about this. So, Virgo, what's going on? Well, first of all, there's been some heartbreak in the situation. Three of Cups and, I'm sorry, Three of Swords and Four of Cups, okay? Someone, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, someone missed out an opportunity here and someone now is heartbroken because of it. This could be you, Virgo. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, um, this is happening completely out of order, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and roll with it, Virgo. So your oracle card right now is take a chance on love, okay? When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So this absolutely pertains to what's going on with these flyers here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it official, but for now, I'm going to take these messages because these messages need to come out. Somebody missed an opportunity here. 
with the Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. And I really feel like this was, and this this could be for Twin Flames, but what I'm seeing here is someone that came forward and tried to make an uh, offer and that offer was rejected. And then, so that person was heartbroken. And then time went on and now the other person wants to make an offer or the other person has now realized with the Wheel of Fortune here and also underneath the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So that could be you, Virgo, okay? It could be another Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn or another Virgo. But... Um, now this other person that rejected the offer originally could be seeing that a missed opportunity, an opportunity was missed and boop, now they're heartbroken. Okay. You have the magician, the 10 of cups and the two of cups. So someone is trying to manifest this relationship back or someone is trying to manifest a new relationship. Someone is actively manifesting a new relationship. And what's needed here is to take a chance on love because Whatever happened with this past situation probably put someone in a situation where they don't necessarily want to take a chance on love anymore because they don't want to get hurt again. Or maybe what's really going on for the Virgos here is someone needs to take a chance on allowing this connection to rekindle. <laughs> allowing this connection to re to happen again because with the two of cups and the ten of pen and the ten of cups that came out you know it's a it's a good match it's a soulmate connection it is a good connection and then here we have the hero font you could be connecting with a taurus this did fall out in the reverse so um i really feel like this was a big lesson for whoever this situation deals with this was a big lesson because the hero font in reverse can talk about learning Okay, so someone has learned a serious lesson and probably wants to start over, probably wants to reconcile. Um, and actually, someone may have learned a lesson in commitment, what true commitment means. Maybe learned a lesson in who they want to actually commit to. All right, Virgo. Now, let's get into your official reading here. We're going to start with the Whispers of Love. We're going to get your Oracle card for the situation. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for you, Virgo? There you go. Oops. Spend some quality time together. There is a need for you guys to really get to know each other again, okay? Spend some quality time together. Learn about each other. Rekindle this relationship. Allow the relationship to flourish. Allow yourselves to, allow yourselves to get to know each other again, okay? It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So I'm really feeling an energy of... If there was some sort of fallout between you and someone, Virgo... I really feel like you guys need to take some time and maybe work on the relationship from a, a friendship perspective to really get things going again. It doesn't have to be friendship. You could just spend some quality time together under with the understanding that you two really have some deep romantic feelings for each other and you just want to rekindle the relationship. Take it slow, maybe. All right, Virgo, one more shuffle. And then we're going to cut the deck here. Boop. And let's see what we've got for you. Overall energies, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, needing to put in the work to rekindle, to rekindle the situation. Put in that work, Virgo. Now, on the other hand, maybe some of you are too immersed in work. Mm. But I really feel like in order to rekindle this situation, I feel like someone, there just needs to be some effort put into it, okay? Possibly some effort to get to know each other again. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is your energy, Virgo. And you've got the Page of Swords. I'm sorry, not the Page of Swords, the Page of Wands and Temperance. We could be talking Twin Flames here. It's possible. But what's really, what this really is saying to me right now is this is reiterating the message of needing to put the work in um, to, re to the re invest into the relationship, invest some hard work into the relationship, and get to know each other more or better. Um, I do see two individuals that are pretty much, that could be single. So maybe you two did kind of walk away from each other at some point um, or, you know, like they came out in the flyers. 
the Four of Cups and the Three of Swords, um, there was a missed opportunity. And now, and honestly, I want to say both parties are heartbroken because of it. Um, it just might be the second person to become heartbroken is a little late to the game because now they're realizing what they have passed up on, potentially. Um, but I'm seeing two people that are very independent here. Okay, this could be you, Virgo. This could be the person you're connecting with. Um, and there is a desire to rekindle the relationship with the Page of Wands here, okay? Um, there is a message of passion that is wanting to come through here. And I just heard commitment, which is interesting because the Page of Wands doesn't necessarily talk about, or Wands, uh, yeah, that might not be commitment. Commitment is more with the Pentacles, but the commitment is coming through like the Eight of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? But it's passionate. There's passion here. There's desire. There's fire. Someone, there's really a desire to rekindle a relationship with a Virgo. Or, Virgo, you want to rekindle the relationship with someone else. The first set of current energies for you, Virgo, we've got the Ten of Wands. Burdens. You could be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, but there are burdens here that need to be released. The Ten of Wands. And actually, that really is coming from the past. What I'm picking up here is that from the, the past dealings with the situation, there are still a lot of heavy burdens that are being carried here. And that is, a, a, that is why there is a need to spend some quality time together and put some real work in with the Eight of Pentacles because these burdens need to be released. Um, and I feel like the burdens aren't going to be released just by dropping shit and like moving forward. No, there's going to be... There, it, this is not a sweep it under the rug situation. Again, this is why we have the Eight of Pentacles. There are some things that need to be worked out. The Ten of Wands is coupled with yeah the nine of swords and there is a lot there's a shit ton of anxiety surrounding this situation okay and it's all because of these burdens it's all because of all the things that happened in the past that are kind of weighing both of you down when it comes to getting this relationship off the ground or getting this relationship rekindled okay second set of current energies for you virgo we've got the knight of pentacles very good this is more virgo energy in my opinion um but either way it's an earth energy so another virgo or a taurus or a capricorn this is moving very slowly and methodically and this actually is advised in this situation especially with what's going on um with like the past energies and needing to spend some quality time together Take it slow, guys, step by step, you know? You don't have to rush this because honestly, with the page of wands here, I really feel like there's definitely enough passion to get this going, okay? It might be a little childish in nature. It might be a new passion or it's just needing to never really grew past the page state. But either way, the passion is here with the page of wands. And the page of wands is also about messages. Any of the pages are about messages and communication. So, okay, that that's great. The knight of pentacles is coupled with... Oh, yes, the Ace of Cups. I love seeing this. Um, and actually, this came out in the Taurus reading. So you might be, if you're connecting with a Taurus, you might want to pay attention to that one, or you might have Taurus in your chart. But there is a slow, methodical process towards a new romantic beginning, an offering a love of love, a new beginning that's offered by the universe even, okay? The current challenge... The Seven of Wands, Def defensiveness, boundaries. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because of all of these burdens here with the Ten of Wands and the anxiety that's coming from it with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone's definitely got their guard up. Someone's definitely being defensive. And especially, like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. But that is the challenge here, letting the guard down, not being so defensive. Mm -hmm. the, nine, the Seven of Wands is coupled with... <laughs> There's the Four of Cups again. So the, the challenge is the boundaries that have been put up after these this opportunity has been missed, after this offer has been rejected in the past. Now somebody's got to work real hard to get past this and to let down the walls. The potential outcome for you, Virgo, we've got the Two of Wands. Okay, there's a choice that needs to be made. There could be, I'm picking up an energy of some of you, There, there's a choice between partners here. You have someone that you might have been talking to, but then there's this other person here that you're trying to really, trying to rekindle a relationship with. I feel like maybe if someone was rejected, the offer was, um, was not accepted here with the Four of Cups, someone might have moved on and potentially found someone else to connect with and is in the process of connecting with and now either you Virgo or you want to come back 
or the, uh, someone's coming back, either it's the Virgo or it's the, uh, uh, or someone coming towards the Virgo, and now somebody's got to make a decision as to which partner they want to continue pursuing things with. The Two of Wands is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the Seven of Cups. What, I was, what was I just saying? There are options here now. And I really feel like, <laughs> I really, I kind of want to say to whoever originally rejected the offer and now is kind of like, I want to say butt hurt over it, or um, is heartbroken because you realize that the person that you rejected the offer from is actually someone that you really do want to rekindle a situation with, and they've got someone else they're talking to. I kind of want to say to you, well, what do you expect? You can't expect to reject someone and expect you can't you can't reject someone and then expect them to just sit around waiting for you to decide you want them again. No, no. Shit, they're going to move on and do what they need to do to make themselves happy and get what they want. Now, I'm not saying I'm not saying that the word it, it's all gloom and doom. I'm not saying that you guys can't rekindle the relationship because obviously there is a desire to do so. And I really feel like it's on both parts here because of temperance. Temperance is bringing these two energies to get bringing these two energies into balance. It's almost like a two of cups energy here with temperance. So I really feel like on some level there is a desire to rekindle things. But It's going to take some work. So now, to the person that, that rejected the offer originally and now wants to rekindle things, are you willing to put in the work? And to the person that was rejected and is now moved on, are you willing to put in the work? Because both parties have to do it, okay? Both parties have to do it. But you have an energy of reconciliation with temperance. All right? Okay, Virgo, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that resonated with you. Last but not least, we're moving on to the Capricorns. Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on with my Capricorns here? Capi, Capi, Cap. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have got a flyer here so far. What do we got for you, Capricorn? Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. We've got more. Okay, all right. So you got the Three of Pentacles, you got the Seven of Swords, and you've got the Hierophant here. I feel like somebody wants to move through the Capricorn. It's really the Capricorn that really wants to move to marriage, uh, commitment. Um, and uh, mm, there is an energy, this is strange, there is an energy of needing to work together here, but someone's not doing it. Or someone's doing it on the surface, or, I'm sorry, underneath the surface. Someone's pretty secretive about it. So maybe, okay, there are some Capricorns. I really feel like this is the Capricorn energy for some of you that I'm, I'm channeling for. Um, you could be underneath the surface. You could be working on some self-mastery in order to bring forth a commitment or a marriage. I really feel like um, underneath the surface here with the Seven of Swords, you're being really incognito about it. You're being really secretive about the fact that you're doing some inner works, inner self-mastery work in order to align yourself with a marriage, with a commitment. And that is really not so bad, Capricorn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, look, the Four of Wands just caught my eye. So that's marriage, that's commitment, that's stability. All right, Capricorn. That's pretty beautiful. All right. So I'm going to get into your Oracle card now, Capricorn. Let's see what we've got for you here. Let me just shuffle this up a little bit. Again, if anyone wants to timestamp this video... I would greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure many others would too, okay? Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising, what do we have for you? What is your overall theme, Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Excuse me, don't forget Venus here. All right, what do we got for you, Capricorn? First one we've got is miracles and blessings. Everything has its gifts. Um, it's gift. So this is, this feels like a past energy here. Okay. Um, there is, if you have recently come out of a situation with someone, there is an energy of needing to see the blessings and the gifts. Maybe 
maybe, maybe this is someone that you really wanted to have a deeper commitment with, maybe, maybe even a marriage, but then all of a sudden the relationship ended. Well, that also, even though it's shitty, and even though it sucks, maybe you may feel heartbroken. That could be a gift or a blessing in and of itself because if you want a commitment or a deeper commitment or a marriage and that person was not into that kind of thing, but and you now and that and relationship has ended, well now you're free to find someone that really can honor that for you. The second card you got here is rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So yeah, there could, really could have been some sort of ending, some sort of breakup here for a Capricorn or someone connected with a Capricorn. And it's really time to take, to really to rest, take a break and work on the self-mastery needed in order to really bring forward this, this relationship, this type of relationship, this, this bond, this commitment or marriage type potentially into your life. Okay. All right, Capricorn. One more shuffle. And then let's cut the deck and see what we've got for you, Cappy. Cappy, Cap, Cap. Overall energy for you, Capricorn. <laughs> Look at that. The Hierophant. Again. You could be connecting with a Taurus. Don't get me wrong. You could be connecting with a Taurus. Keep that in mind. But... What I'm seeing here is for those of you that I'm really that I'm connecting with right now, you really want if you don't want a marriage, you want a solid commitment. Period. I'm getting an energy of I just want I just want to be with someone that wants to commit to me as much as I want to commit to them. And there is nothing wrong with that, Capricorn. Nothing wrong with it, okay? But if you've come out of a relationship currently, or if you're a cross watcher that has kind of come out of a relationship with a Capricorn, um, and you really do want this commitment here, you might need to just take a break and work on yourself for a little bit here, okay? Yeah, look at that. We've got the magician. Someone is really trying to manifest a commitment here. We've got the world. And then we've got the eight of cups. So I really feel like someone, some for some of you, there has been an ending to a relationship, okay? And um, and this is leaving you open to manifest, uh, manifest the situation that you really, truly desire. An ending has come to play here with the world. It was a major cycle that ended. You probably learned a hell of a lot of, of deep lessons in this relationship. But now you are free after walking away, after someone has walked away, you are now free to manifest a true commitment and marriage or relationship, whatever that you desire. So that really feels very good, Capricorn. It feels very, very good. Let's get into your current energies here. First set, you've got the Hermit. You could also be connecting with a Virgo. But this is talking about the inner work going within and finding your inner light and letting it shine. This talks about wisdom. I really feel like you have, if you have recently ended a situation with a soulmate, you probably, like I said, with the world, you probably learned a hell of a lot in this situation, okay? The hermit is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Yeah. So either you learned a lot and you learned that you need to release a bunch of burdens or you're needing to go within in order to release these burdens. You might really need to just take a break from relationships right now in order to clear away any of the burdens that you might still be carrying, any of the baggage that you might still be carrying if you've just ended a relationship, okay? The second set of current energies for you, Capricorn, we've got the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving away, moving towards calmer waters. The Six of Swords is coupled with, the th there you go, there's that Three of Pentacles again, self-mastery, okay? There really is an energy of needing to just heal, rebuild yourself. Take a look at what happened in this previous relationship and see what it is you can do to better yourself in order to really bring forward this commitment that you're this, this strong type of commitment that you are seeking. Yes, Cappy? Yes, 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 Capricorn. Or this could be a cross watcher because this is a general reading. So if you're watching this for a Capricorn and you recently ended a relationship with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and v or Venus, 
then you need to take a break and do some, either way, someone needs to take a break and do some self-mastery, okay? The current challenge for a cat for you guys, we've got the Eight of Pentacles doing the work, y'all, okay? Investing in you also. The Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Wands. So staying per staying persistent, persevering. Um, some of you may really feel battered and bruised right now, and you really, the current challenge is needing to heal yourself. Do some work to rebuild yourself, okay? Yeah. The current, out the, the potential outcome for you, Capricorn, we've got, excellent, the lovers. You could be connecting with the Gemini. So this could be setting you up really setting you up for that soulmate connection, maybe even a twin flame connection. That's possible. We are talking to some twin flames here. You are not excluded. Um, but this is just a deep partnership. This could be a Gemini. But the, 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 the lovers is also a choice, potentially. The lovers is coupled with, woo, the tower. All right, so this is this is actually what I was thinking. Originally, there's a choice here. A choice for you. If you're taking a break from a relationship, you might choose yourself over this other person. Once you take a break and rest, rest and relax. Excuse me. Once you take a break, rest and relax, you're able to see things from a different perspective. And then it's like, uh oh, well, actually, no, maybe this person isn't the right one anymore. But also, the potential outcome here, especially if you're looking for a marriage, this could be sudden, okay? There's suddenly, there's something that could be suddenly cleared away that helps create the space for this marriage or for this commitment um, because the, 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 the tower here is, is um, Mars energy. This is also creative energy, okay? So while it could be destructive, it's also creative in the sense that it's helping you clear space for something new, for something, uh, a new foundation or a new structure to be built. This could be with a new person, but it also could be with the same person. Like, just like for some of you, you could be taking a break from the relationship and you could realize, no, actually, this isn't the person that I want. Some of you also could be taking a break and then realizing, holy shit, I really do want to commit to this person. Uh -huh, there you go. All right, Capricorn. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And to all my earth signs, much love to you all. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, just give shoot me an email and we will get you set up. Yeah. Either way, it was great connecting with you guys. I look to, forward to connecting with you again in the future. Take care. Much love. And I will speak with you soon. Yeah. Mwah. Bye.